Hey Stampers, Kim from StampingInperfection.com. Welcome to my craft room. I created a card for my blog today and I was doing a color challenge. Somebody had challenged me to use Knight of Navy, Tangerine Tango, and Crushed Curry and then you can use one neutral. Oh, and Soft Suede also was one of the colors. So this is a card I came up with. I've been dying to play with the Project Life stuff and I used quite a bit of Project Life stuff on this card. I used the framelits because we have Project Life has a set of framelits and I, I really love these framelits. Um, these are the ones I am going to show you today. I used this one on this card to cut out the mat and to automatically give it the curves. Notice that there is one larger one in the set and then you get these three fabulous little um, sentiment framelits. At least that's what I think of them as sentiment framelits because I can picture myself putting using them for sentiments or mats behind sentiments. So this is the set you get. This is, and it's called specifically the Project Life Cards and Labels Framelits Dies. So I wanted to play with those and then um, they have so far released two stamp sets. One is the day-to-day, -day, Project Life day-to-day -day with the months, the days, it's all for dates. And then one of the other ones that they've released is the point and click, the Project Life point and click. This is Stampin' Up! that, um, this is the Stampin' Up! Project Life line of products and I love this. And I know that we're waiting for the new catalog to come out on June 2nd, I believe it comes out for the sentiment set that goes along with this and I cannot wait to get that sentiment set. So I've used this stamp set and you can see I've used the arrows and I've used this little sentiment here or the little image, the heart image with the arrow. So I think that's a really fun one. The sentiments, this is actually two sentiment stamps, is a sneak peek at a stamp set called Something to Say. So um, that's a sneak peek and these are two separate stamps. How fun is that? All the sentiments I'm using today are a sneak peek from that same stamp set. So I'm going to show you three different versions of this centerpiece in this video and then in the next video I'm going to show you three different backgrounds that I used to actually step up this card and to kind of make it a little bit different. For each of these three backgrounds everything is exactly the same with the exception of the sentiments and the shape that I used to cut it out. For this one I used the one and three quarter inch scallop circle punch. You can see that I've got my sentiment inside stamped in soft suede. I've got a Knight of Navy candy dot that comes from the Regal's candy dot collections and I've edged this in the Knight of Navy just to make it pop a little bit. Everything else is the same. All the card bases are going to be Knight of Navy cut at five and a half by eight and a half. I scored and folded it at four and a quarter and I'm using two Tangerine Tango candy dots in the lower right hand quarter, corner of each card and those come from the Brights collection of candy dots. So to start with I have this crushed curry. I used the smaller of the curved mat pieces from the Project Life Cards and Labels framelit set. So that's crushed curry. Uh, that's such a breeze to do. Then I have a piece of very vanilla. This is cut at two and a half by three and a half. And the first thing that I did was use my Project Life circle, not circle, excuse me, my Project Life corner rounder. I love this corner rounder. I don't know what's different about this than the original one, but this one works so much better um, for rounding corners. Always punch from the back, and you can see that the the corner go, or the tip point goes in, the point of the corner goes in, and this is just, it just beautifully rounds. My last corner rounder did not do this, and it's so easy to use. I, like, I'm always amazed at how easy the punches are to use because I have arthritis in my hands, and um, I'm always worried about how hard it is going to be to do something. These are a breeze. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my images in Tangerine Tango. Now, to do that, 
I have already placed my Project Life stamp on to the um, my clear block and I've lined it up. I use these vinyl um, clings which they are on their retired list. I can't believe they're retiring them. I love these. When I first got my blocks and I first got these I carefully lined them up so I know everything is really straight. So I've got this arrow edge edge punch or edge image excuse me lined up. So I'm just going to ink this up and I line up the bottom of my um, cardstock and then I'm going to attempt around the tripod and part of my head just to line this up hopefully that's straight and I'm going to do it again putting it right above and I'm going to get it as straight as possible and I just did three of these I just really like the way this looks. I love this I think this is such a fun little image how fun is that then I took this this little heart circle with the arrow and I don't know how straight I have this on here but what I love about the photopolymer stamps like I love that I can see exactly and I'm gonna center this in, along the top I can see exactly where I'm stamping isn't that great so I'm going to attach this with glue to my crushed curry mat and that forms the base. Now I'll just add the chevron ribbon and the linen thread. Now I took a piece of this this chevron naturals ribbon. I have a friend who doesn't like the chevron, but she loves the width of the ribbon, so she always uses the back. I like the chevron, especially on this card, because it's got kind of the arrow theme going. So this is cut about four and a quarter inches long. I'm just going to put a glue dot on each end like this and then I'm going to center this in the card and hopefully get it fairly straight I can always move it around if I need to and I'm just folding these edges over like this and attaching the glue dot to the back then I took my natural linen thread I love I love this linen thread it's just one of my favorite things to use um, now this sentiment is actually going to be pretty long I will probably not cover up my entire thing here somehow this I wanted to experiment with this sentiment it's gonna be longer than my page that's okay maybe I should move this down and I'll move this down a tiny bit and put that above it just like that so this is more directly above the arrows I might have to reattach glue dots there we go get it straight and I'm gonna just take my linen thread and I leave a little tail enough that I know I, um, I I know about how much I need to tie a bow so I'll leave about that much depends on how chubby your fingers are so I know I need this much with my chubby fingers and since I'm going to put the sentiment up this bow I'm gonna I tie a knot and then I'm going to actually tie a bow I'll put this one in the center the other ones I've been putting on the side there but since this sentiment's going to go above and then I'll just tie a little bow you could put more embellishments on here if you wanted to you could add a button you know one of your favorite buttons here if you wanted to and I'm just going to trim this up and here's another little thing that I did on my other cards <clears throat> This is um, also is the sneak peek from the same sentiment set that's coming up. I've already added two of the um, Na Night of Navy, which is from the Regals candy dots, to just, just to let it stand out a little bit because I'm putting very vanilla on very vanilla. This is very vanilla. I just kind of like touch this, and you can see I'm getting a little tiny blue edge. This has actually been the most challenging shapes, the ones with a little bit of a curve actually just roll. So I'm just like dunking that in and this is instead of like sponging I felt like this was the shapes on this card really didn't lend themselves to sponging so much and I don't love sponging when I do it. I love it when other people do it but I don't love it when I do it mostly because I 
sometimes cross that fine line between a nicely sponged image and a hot mess. So, like, I'm not a huge fan of sponging. I'm not very good at just getting the edges. Somehow it doesn't look artistic on my card. Okay, now I'm putting three glue dots on the back of this. And I'm just going to hopefully center this above and I want this one to hang off because I want this to look a little bit different so you can see I've got already three different looks with three different sentiments so I'm making for myself here an entire um, card set. As you can see the difference these two are made from the framelits from the Project Life set this is made from one of my punches and I've edged each one in the Knight of Navy. Each one has some candy dots. The sentiments are all from the same um, sneak peek sentiment set that will be coming out in the catalog on June 2nd. And they're all stamped in um, soft suede on Very Vanilla. I've used Very Vanilla cardstock here. So there you go. Just to give you an idea of how the same card layout can be changed just a little bit depending on what tools you have and um, what sentiment you need to actually send. Thanks for watching. Check out my blog at stampingimperfection.com if you're interested in purchasing the Project Life Stampin' Up line. You can do that at mystampingstore.com online. And um, while you're at my blog, check out my virtual club called Stampers Lounge, where you can get exclusive customer videos just for shopping in my online store at mystampingstore.com. Thanks for watching.